So now we're going to uh, go over how to balance a redox reaction. So we should be able to assign oxidation states, assign what's being oxidized, reduced. And we're going to need balanced reactions for our calculations in electrochemistry over galvanic cells. So there's two methods to use. We're going to go through both of them. So um, one method is uh, using the half reaction method. Now I'll go through this in the problem. You can pause this if you want to copy this. So these are the processes for uh, going through a half reaction method. So I've already started the parts up here. So we have a reaction that is uh, not balanced. And uh, some redox reactions are easy to balance using normal methods, and some are challenging to balance. So there's a new component uh, for redox. We have to balance the charge along with the elements. So um, in this reaction here, we know it's not balanced. We assign our oxidation states to the easy ones. Manganese is a plus two, it's ionic charge. Oxygen is a negative two. Bismuth is a plus three, it's ionic charge. Oxygen is a negative two. Using the summation rules, one bismuth plus three negative two is add up to a negative one, it means that bismuth has to be a plus five. One manganese plus four negative twos add up to a negative one, it means that our bismuth needs to be a plus seven. So we see a change of plus two to plus seven for manganese. So we're increasing the oxidation number, that is oxidation. For bismuth, we're going from five down to a three. So we're reducing the oxidation number, that's reduction. So we pull out half of the reaction. So oxidation is the two ends of the line, our manganese two plus going to permanganate. For reduction is our BiO3 minus going to Bi3 plus. So that's the beginning of our half reaction. So that's the second step here. So our first step is to balance the main elements, not oxygen or hydrogen. In this case, manganese, we have one manganese on both sides, one bismuth on both sides. So they are balanced. Now we want to balance oxygen using water. So in this case, we have four oxygen on the product side. We're going to add four water onto the reactant side. Over here, we have three oxygens on the reactant side. So we're going to add three waters onto the product side. Then we're going to balance hydrogen using H+. So we initially had no hydrogen. Now we have total eight in the reactant side, so we're going to add eight H plus on the product side. We originally had no hydrogen, we now have six on the product side, so we add six H plus onto the reactant side. Now we're going to balance the charges in electrons. So this is another conservation law, we have to conserve charge. So whatever charge we end up with is a charge we have to uh, finish off with. So we have a two plus, eight plus, minus one, seven plus. So seven plus, two plus, we're gonna add electrons. So we're gonna bring this down from seven down to two. So we do that by having five electrons. So oxidation reaction has our electrons in the product side. So for the second reaction, we have uh, uh, six plus minus one is five plus and three plus. So we need to bring the five down to three by adding two electrons. So again, reduction has electrons on the reactant side. So, so now we want to be able to add these together to get an overall reaction. And we have to make these electrons disappear when we add them together. 
So what we're going to do is to multiply both these reactions to get it so we have the same number of electrons. And we can't do five divided by two, that's a, a fraction. So we're going to do two times five to get 10 electrons. So I multiply this whole reaction by two and this whole reaction by five. That means we'll have two Mn, this four turns into eight. We'll have two permanganate, this eight turns into 16, and this five turns into 10. We're multiplying the reduction half reaction by five, so we're gonna end up five. Six times five will give us 30. Two times five is 10. We'll have five. Three times five is 15. So we managed so that we have 10 electrons in the product side, 10 electrons in the reactant side. So when we add these two together, the reactants are going to disappear. So we're going to have uh, two Mn. plus our five BiO3. Let's see here, let's add water first. So we have eight water and 15 water. So we're gonna cancel off eight of those waters. So that 15 drop down to seven. And now that's on the product side. Okay, so on the reaction side, let's look at the hydrogen. We have 30 hydrogen, we have 16. So we're gonna cancel off 16 of these, end up with 14. That's on the reaction side. We've designed it so that our electrons are canceling off. So then on our product side, we have our two permanganates. plus five bismuth. Cancel off all the hydrogen, we still have seven waters left. And there's a process of balancing, uh, both with this half reaction method and the other oxidation number method, will always leave us with um, an acidic solution, never a basic solution. So if we need basic, so this is a good reaction, good balanced reaction in acid. So this is the answer if we're looking for acid. If we want base, What we're going to do is to add 14, um, enough hydroxides to cancel off the hydrogen ion. So in this case, 14. So we're going to add 14 OH minus on both sides of the reaction. That way it stays balanced. This set here is going to give us 14 waters. <clears throat> We have seven as a product already, so we're going to be able to cancel off seven of these. And this 14 comes down to be seven waters. Now we just write it again. We have our two manganese plus our five BiO3. Minus. This now turns into seven waters. Goes into our two permanganate, five bismuth.
and then the water is going to cancel off and we're left with 14 hydroxides. So that's our basic reaction. So we have now two balanced reactions, one acid, one base. Uh, for certain batteries, it's preferable to be done in an alkaline solution, a basic solution. And for others, it's preferable to be done in an acid, acid solution. So let's try the other method on a different reaction. So the process for balancing the uh, using the oxidation number method. So you can pause here if you want to copy this. And this will go through this doing the process with this reaction here. So another incomplete uh, reaction. So we want to start off assigning oxidation numbers. I guess I need to do this first step. Iodide is a minus one, the ionic charge. Oxygen is a negative two. Elemental iodine is zero. Oxygen is a negative two. On the manganese, we have two times four is negative eight. We're gonna leave one charge, so we have to cancel off the negative seven. That means that manganese is a plus seven. Over here, we have two times negative two is negative four. We need a positive four cancel them off. So we have our two reactions going on. Iodide to iodine, we're increasing the oxidation number, so that's oxidation. Manganese goes from seven to four, that's our reduction. Okay, but now instead of splitting them out into half reactions, We want to identify how many electrons are being transferred during this process here. Um, except before we do that, we need to balance our main elements, not oxygen or hydrogen. We have one magnesium on both sides, but we have one iodine and one, two on the other side. So we need to balance that um, iodine. So we have two iodines. So now we figure out how many electrons are being transferred for both the oxidation and reduction process. So we're going from a negative one to a zero. That's a change of one. So we have one, but we have two atoms. So times two equals two electrons being transferred. In reduction, we're going from seven down to four. Seven minus four is three. So we have three electrons being transferred. So now what we want to do is we want to get those two numbers to be the same. So we can multiply the oxidation by three to get six electrons and reduction by two to get uh, six electrons. So we're gonna do uh, times three, that will give us our six electrons, times two will be our six electrons. So times three, this two will turn into three, and we'll put a three in front of that. And then we're multiplying the reduction by two, so it'll be two and two. Wait, I did something wrong. We're multiplying by three, so I'm not changing it to three. Three times two will be a six over here. So in this process, we have just balanced our electrons. So this was something that we did late in the process on the half reaction method. And we're doing up front. Now we have the electrons being transferred. So all we have to do now is balance our oxygens and our hydrogens. So we're going to balance our oxygen using water again. So we have um, 
two times four is eight. Two times two is four. So we have eight, we have four, we need to add four more over here. So plus four H2O. We're going to balance our hydrogen using H plus. We have no H plus, we have now eight H plus. So we add in eight H plus on the reactant side. So let me just search. Uh, Rewrite this as a clean equation here. So we have our two, uh, six, six I minus plus our two MnO4 minus plus eight H plus gives our three I2s plus two MnO4, MnO2s plus four H2O. So everything should be balanced here, uh, elements and charges. So we have six iodide, six iodide, two manganese, two manganese, eight oxygens, two times two is four, plus four is eight, eight hydrogens, four times two is eight. So that's the elements, the charges, the products have no charges, everything adds up to zero. So we have uh, six minus, plus two minus to eight minus, plus eight positive adds up to zero. So our charges uh, balance our elements down. So we have our final balance reaction. And of course, this is in acid. So let's see what it turns like into base. We're going to um, add eight hydroxides to neutralize this. That will give us our eight waters. We need to add the eight hydroxides over here. And I'll just pull it down and clean it up. It'd be our basic solution. So we have our six iodide, our two permanganates, plus eight waters. We're going to cancel off four of those waters. So eight minus four gives us four waters. This goes to three iodines plus two MnO4s. We've canceled off all the water, but now we have eight hydroxides. So this is our balanced reaction in base. So it's still a balanced reaction. Uh, all our elements balance our charges. We have six negative plus two is eight negative, matches the eight negative. So it's still balanced in charge in all our elements.